What's going on guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to another video in this video series of building a website from the ground up. In today's video, we're continuing to talk about Elementor and specifically using the Elementor theme builder to create a header and footer for your website. And we're also talking about global style settings, specifically global colors and global fonts. And if you would like to continue on in this video series, you can definitely click on that link down below in the description. It is a playlist link that will continue on from this video building out to a final finished website. So if that's what you're looking for, click on that link and head over to that playlist. Now, I also wanna mention that we do have a link down below in the description to Elementor Pro. Elementor Pro, like I mentioned in the previous video, now is the perfect time to upgrade to Elementor Pro because you have not built anything out on your website yet and a couple of these features that we're talking about today will incorporate Elementor Pro into them. So I highly recommend Elementor Pro. You can customize your website so much easier and you also have additional premium pro widgets that you can add into your site. It's it's just a great bundle and package. So I highly recommend it. It's a great price. Click on that link down below and see what kind of price you can get for it. And lastly guys, if you haven't smashed that nice red look and subscribe button, I invite you to do so and join that family by clicking that bell icon Icon and be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and get started. All right, guys, welcome, welcome again to the back end of our WordPress website. Now, I've gone ahead and actually installed Elementor, and I did that in the previous video. So if you're interested in checking that out, you can definitely click on this card that is up at the top right now and check that out. It will go over installing Elementor, Elementor Pro, and the Hello theme. All right, so for today's video, what we're gonna do is go over to Pages. We'll click All Pages right here, and we have this home page that we've set up in previous videos. Again, if you want to click on that playlist link, it is down below in the description. But we're going to hover over the page right here that we want to edit and click edit with Elementor. You can also go into the page actually and then there will be an edit with Elementor button. It You can also click that. It goes to the same location. Basically, we're in now the designer of Elementor for this page. Okay, now before we actually design anything on the page, we wanna get some key parts into the website. So first off, I wanna focus on my brand stylization. So let's go up here, up to the top left menu, this hamburger menu right here, and we'll go down to site settings. Now once we're in site settings, we have a lot of different options here that we can choose from, and I suggest that you briefly go through each one of these, but specifically today we're gonna be talking about these two right here, and we'll talk a little bit about site identity right here. Now the reason we're doing this right now is because we want to go ahead and set up all of our settings so that when we're actually going through and designing and creating the content for this website, it everything flows much easier and it's already designed in the design that we want. All right, so the first thing is global colors. Let's go ahead and click on this right here. And you can see we have a primary color, a secondary color, a text color, and an accent color. And these can all be adjusted by simply just clicking right here. And if you need other colors, Colors, you can go ahead and add these colors in. Now what these colors actually are are going to be what we assign our brand colors to be and once we have these brand colors assigned we'll go through and actually design our website using these colors. We don't want a bunch of random different weird colors throughout our website or the website will not look cohesive and it will look very clumsy but when all of the colors work together and they complement the brand they really really look nice. So if you guys don't have any brand colors in mind for your business yet or whatever website you're designing I definitely recommend you set those up right now and I'll give you a few websites here that you can actually go through and find some brand colors. The first one is coolers. Dot com, dot co, excuse me. That's C O O L O R S dot co. And basically what you do is you can kind of see a preview here of what we're going to do, but we just click start the generator. And then once it loads up, all we're going to use is the space bar here and it will just randomly pick five different colors here. And if we happen to like a certain few colors here, we can go ahead and click this little lock icon. Say we like those two right there, but we're not a big fan of those three. We can hit the space bar again and it'll keep randomly throwing in some other colors. Okay, I think those three look good together. We can go ahead and keep looking for other colors. My second suggestion would be to check out Pinterest and you can just search anything like brand colors or even like a palette, color palette right here, branding and design, anything like that. And you can actually go through and you'll see a lot of these different kind of color palettes all built out and laid out for you. I typically just pick one of these random palettes that work really well for me and that I really like and kind of 
emulate the brand that I'm trying to present, and then I'll just go ahead and take those color codes. Now there's a lot of different ways to get color codes, but I use this little Chrome extension right here called Color Picker, and once you click on there, you can actually just hover over any different color that you want, and you can click on that, and it'll give you the hex code right there. From that point, we can go ahead and just copy that over and take it over, and let's say we wanna set that as our primary. We'll go ahead and paste it in right here, and just like that, we now have our primary color set. Those are just a few of my suggestions of how to pick out your brand colors, but maybe you've already picked them out and you're ready, just go ahead and put them in your global colors section. All right, so I've gone ahead and added in my colors that I wanna use for this website. And I've, you can see I've added another color here, this alternate one, just in case I wanna use this other brand color of mine. All right, next we'll go ahead and click back here and we'll go over to global fonts. Now this is pretty much the same concept. Whenever you bring in a new text box to your website, it will default to these fonts. Now primary is going to refer more to the headline, secondary will refer more to the subtitles, and then the text will refer more to the text boxes. If you guys don't have predefined fonts, you can go ahead and actually go over to this other website that I found. It's called reliablepsd.com, and then you can look for the article that's called Ultimate Google Font Pairings, and you can actually scroll through here and find they've just paired basically these two different fonts with each other and it kind of shows you what this looks like. Here's like a title and it looks like this is in PT Sans Bold and then you can see the text which looks like it's in Play Fair Display Regular. And you can kind of go through and see which type of style you like. These are just random pairings that they've gone ahead and thought look really well and put together for you. And they've added a little art artwork so you can kind of see what, what it would look like on your site. But I went ahead and I chose this one right here, this number nine. I like the Roboto Light and the droid serif regular. So now we're gonna go back over to Elementor and I'm gonna click this little pen here and see if we can actually set up fonts that are similar or the same exact fonts that I chose. All right, so I found the Roboto font here and it says it is a light version. So all I'm gonna do actually right here is just change the weight or meaning the thickness of the font, I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit here. All right, once we're finished picking our global fonts, we'll go ahead and click update. From here, let's go ahead and just click this X to leave the site settings. And now let's go ahead and just test out what we just did. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in a heading right over here. And then what we're gonna do is go over to the style tab for this heading. And we'll go down here to typography and click on this little world icon, this little global icon right there. We'll click on that and then go ahead and select primary. And look at that, we now have our Roboto font and it's all set up with our primary settings. So to change the text color, we'll click on this little global icon up here and we'll go ahead and click primary. And look at that, we have a title that is set up with our primary font design and our primary color. Now let's click this menu again and go back to site settings and I want to show you there are other things that you can go ahead and set up right here and adjust little tiny settings and tweak things right over here such as your buttons, your images, if you want to make rounded corners on your images. So every time you put in an image to your website, it comes out with rounded corners. You can definitely do that as well as adjust the background or the layout or light box for viewing images or anything like that. Let's go ahead and click on site identity. And from here you can see we have this little section up here that says my WordPress, just another WordPress website. Let's go ahead and give our website a name. I'm going to name mine Tyler dot ID, which happens to be my URL, but that's kind of the name that I'm going to be using for this website. Now let's give a site description. Now let's go ahead and upload our site logo. We'll just click choose image here, and then we'll go ahead and set up a fave icon. Now this is the little icon that you'll see at the very top of every tab that you have open of your website. All right, once we have all those changes made, let's go ahead and click update. All right, after refreshing the page, you can see that we have our logo there and it is updated. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a custom header and footer. So let's go over here and click menu and go down to theme builder. Now this will load a new area here where we can create a header, a footer, or such pages that we're gonna be using over and over again, such as page templates, or even a error 404 page. For this example, we'll just click on header, and then there are a lot of different templates here that you can go ahead and choose from. I'm just gonna select something pretty simple, like maybe this one right here. Go ahead and insert it. All right, so now we're working on the edits for the header. Now right over here, you can see our logo is already in place here. 
we have a menu right here that we can actually add in. And we've talked about a little bit about designing a menu in a previous video. So if you're interested in that, you can check the card that is up top right now in this video. And then we can go ahead and add whatever we would like anywhere on this header. But I kind of like this button over here like one main call to action button. So first things first, let's go ahead and choose a color for our header. I'm gonna click on these little six dots right here. This is where you actually drag sections around. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that just one time. And then over here on the left, we'll go over to style. And then I'm gonna go down to the background type. Now this is the background color for the header. We can go ahead and click on this little global icon and set it to primary. All right, everything's looking good. We have the background color of the header. Normally, if you're using a logo, you would want a transparent background. Um, I just haven't had the time to actually go through and make that, so I'm just showing you with this image, but what we're gonna do is work on editing this menu right here. All right, so next we need to go ahead and adjust the menu. What we're gonna do is click this little edit button right here, and then for menu, we're gonna go ahead and select the menu that we've previously set up. Now, these are the names of menus that we've gone ahead and created in the past. Now, I've named mine main, so I'll go ahead and add that, and then I wanna go over to the style settings and go ahead and adjust the text color right here. I'll click this global colors again because we've set some up in the past. Let's see what the accent color looks like. So that's what the accent color looks like right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the other colors here, the alternate color, and see what that looks like. I think that looks a little bit better right there. I like how that looks. And let's go ahead and change the typography here and go ahead and change it to primary. Awesome, I'm really liking the way that that looks right there. Now a few other adjustments we might want to make is on the hover when we actually hover over the menu. And what we can do is go ahead and adjust that right here by clicking hover, and we can change all of those settings right here. Now typically if we had more items in the menu you would see them all right here but for now we've only created one page and that's the home page so that's what it looks like right here. Now let's go ahead and adjust the button over here. We can actually just right click here and delete this completely or we can go ahead and make changes to it or you can go back over here to Elementor to your widget panel and you can add anything that you want into your header. Maybe we even want a tiny video up in our header. I don't know why you would want this, but it is definitely possible and you can do it just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. I'll click on this edit button, go down to style, and then let's go ahead and change the typography over to primary. Let's go ahead and change the color down here over to accent. And then let's go over to content and change the text right here. Instead of donate now, we'll say get started today. Perfect, everything is looking really nice. Everything's getting set up just how we want it. And then let's go ahead and come down here and click publish. And when we click the publish button, this window comes up right here and it says basically, where do you want to display your header? I'm gonna go ahead and click add a condition and I'm gonna include the header. You can either include or exclude it. I'm gonna include the header on our entire website. And then I'll go ahead and click save and close. And then let's go ahead and leave the header editor and we'll just click this menu button here and click on exit to dashboard. And we'll come back over here to pages and all pages. And then we'll click edit with Elementor on our homepage. And now when we're working with Elementor and designing our pages, we have our header already in place. All right guys, and the header is there ready to go. It will be on any of the pages that we go ahead and design with Elementor. Now let's go ahead and design a footer very briefly. Let's go up here to the top left and click the menu go to theme builder again, and we'll go over here on the left to footer, click that and click add new. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just use one of these pre-created ones, I think it's very easy. I'll go ahead and click insert right here, and this will insert the footer right into the, and then once this is inserted, it's very easy to go ahead and design it. We can go ahead and add any widgets that we want to. We can click this menu button and then back, and we have all of these widgets that we can go ahead and just drag and drop into our footer, and they will appear at the footer of every single page. So for example, if we wanted social media icons, we can go ahead and drag this in and drop that right there, and we can go ahead and change their style to anything that we would like. All right, so I've gone ahead and made a few changes right here, and I like how it looks. Let's go ahead and click Publish, and we'll get the same window as the header. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit add condition, include on the entire site, and save and close. Now let's go back over here, hit menu, exit to dashboard, and let's take a look at the home page once again by clicking on pages over here. We'll go ahead and click edit with Elementor on the home page, 
and let's take a look at how it looks. All right, everything is looking really, really nicely. Now, I really don't like this word here. This is just the name of the page. So to go ahead and make that change so those are not showing up on every single page, I really just want a blank page. So let's go ahead and adjust that. We'll go up to the menu and click on Theme Builder. We'll go over to Single Page and go ahead and click Add New. Now, as far as these single pages go, you can actually design them however you would like, but for the sake of just this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and just click a blank one. We'll click on this and click insert, and then we'll go over here and click publish. Even though there's really nothing in the page, we've basically just gone ahead and created a blank template. So it doesn't bring in any other information besides what we're adding to the designer. Let's just click publish here, and then we can go ahead and include this on our pages, all of them right here, and we'll go ahead and hit save and close. Now let's go ahead and head over to a new tab and take a look at the website. And as you can see, everything is looking great. This is a piece of text that I added when I was actually designing the home page, but everything looks really well. We have our header up top, we have our footer down below. We used all of our global colors here. I'm not a huge fan of this these colors up here in the header, I may change those in the future videos, but we've basically set everything up. We're using the same fonts throughout the website and everything is set up. Now this will make designing the website from here on out so much easier. You'll just simply put in the content and it will be much, much easier now that we've got all of this set up. And this brings us to the conclusion of this video. In the next video, we will be talking about Elementor Designer and how to actually design and put in all of your content onto your website so you're all set up and ready to go. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please consider giving it a like so it gets boosted in the YouTube algorithm. And guys, if you wanna continue on in this video series playlist, you can definitely check out that link to the playlist down below in the description. And also a lot of the features that you saw today were Elementor Pro only features, so definitely consider upgrading to Elementor Pro. You can check out that link down below in the description, see what kind of price you can get for it. It is super awesome and as you guys saw this was very easy to go ahead and actually create a full template of a website just that fast so i highly recommend elementor pro check it out in the link in the description and with that said guys thank you so much for watching today's video i will catch you guys in the next video